Thomas Alive to Die presents James Way. James Way began in 1961 with its first store by Herbert Fisher. The company got its name from the town in which the first store was located Jamestown, New York. At its peak in 1991 the company operated 138 stores throughout the mid-Atlantic region of the United States and employed nearly 6,000. The company had locations in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Ohio, Virginia, Delaware and other states. James Way's headquarters was in Secaucus, New Jersey. It expanded much in the 1960s and continued to grow until the 1980s. During this period it acquired many properties from then-defunct discount stores such as Two Guys Woolco Kings and one from Mays. They also acquired the Weston's chain of discount stores in the late 1970s. The original store in Jamestown relocated to Chautauqua Mall in the late 1980s. James Way No. 20 located in Monroe, New York was destroyed by a major fire on April 29, 1990. Peter Hollis former president and CEO of Ames joined James Way in 1991 and was named president in February of that year. In April 1991 in an effort to strengthen its financial position the company secured a $40 million refinancing agreement and closed 11 unprofitable stores. In January 1993 James Way rolled out a new store format and planned to completely remodel the 127 store chain within the following three years. The remodel would include completely redoing 30 stores in 1993. The remodeling efforts included better lighting store layouts and signage improvements throughout the store. In June 1993 Joseph Ettore most recently chairman of Stewart's rejoined the company as president and CEO. On July 19, 1993 the company filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. Before the filing the chain had sales of $1.05 billion and 7,400 employees. In August 1993 the discounter said it cut 70 headquarters jobs and implemented a management realignment. We want to stay in business Ettore emphasized. In January 1993 James Way closed 13 stores. In December 1993 James Way announced it would close 14 stores and remodel 11 stores as part of a plan to pull the company out of bankruptcy. James Way closed 10 more stores in 1994 leaving the chain with 90 stores remaining. James Way faced competition from other large chains such as Walmart Ames Bradley's Caldor and Hills which started to open new stores in areas where James Way stores were already located. The chain emerged from bankruptcy in January 1995. The company put itself up for sale in May 1995. Ames was viewed as the most likely suitor for the chain. Hills and Caldor were also considered as possible suitors. At the time it put itself up for sale the company had 5,900 employees. James Way filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy for the second time in October 1995 after it had emerged from its nearly two-year-long bankruptcy. Just days before its filing the company laid off 3% of its workforce. James Way was at the point of no return to profitability to save the company. The company decided it would close all of its remaining stores and liquidation sales began immediately running from October to December 1995. It was believed that its continued weak sales along with operating losses and constricted trade credit contributed to its bankruptcy. During that time Walmart Ames and others had begun to open new stores replacing many Jamesway stores, making Jamesway's fate inescapable and ending the company as a retailer forever. Ames purchased 11 former James Way stores and reopened them as Ames stores and Joseph Ettery would eventually become the new president of Ames but Ames declared bankruptcy in 2001 with a similar reason to James Way's and eventually closed all of its stores a year later also ending Ames as a retailer. 
and was the fourth largest retailer at the time. What's the matter? Got the shopping blues. Uh -huh. James Way's got it all for you. Uh -huh. Starting Saturday, we're celebrating our 26th anniversary with some of our lowest sale prices of the year. We've got it all in home entertainment, like great savings on Scotch products. VHS and beta tapes are only $3.99 each. Head cleaning cassettes are just $9.99. And five packs of Scotch XS2 audio tape are only $7.74 after rebate. We care about you, the James Way. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.